to the Cat and Matt show. How are you, Matt? I'm very good. How are you, Cat? I'm good, thank you. Especially as you had a nice back holiday weekend. Oh, so yes. Four, four day weeks. I'm, uh, I'm loving it. <laughs> Me too. May seems to be the month for them here in the UK today, Matt. So we've got a show today talking about the new features in the up and coming School uh, 15. So NetSupport School 15. Um, we've, we've got our papers here, Cat. Look like do. a couple of news readers, but we've we got a lot, a bit, yeah. lot of Breaking stuff to cover. News. New school update. It is. A <laughs> lot of stuff to cover. Um, so I wanted to make sure we don't miss anything. Mm. So I'm going to be using this. Yep. Um, so start off with new user interface. So this yeah. is probably the biggest change to the, uh, the software. The most obvious one as well, obviously, when you first log on. So. Yeah, absolutely. So we've given it uh, an overhaul. It's mm. um, I think they refer to it as a ribbon interface. Mm. So a lot more uh, modern uh, look in there. Yep. Um, so uh, that's obviously one of the key new features. Um, and another one that's uh, really good, we've uh, added to the rewards. So previously, mm. you could give your students rewards and it would kind of give them a, a little star. Yeah. Um, but we've added a new feature called stickers. Um, okay. So you can give your student a sticker. And this is actually really cool because when you actually give them a sticker, it kind of pops into the, uh, to the screen there. So it actually looks oh. really good. Uh, a bit, bit nice. more funky than the uh, the old style rewards there, so hopefully. Hard to miss as well, I guess. Yeah, a a absolutely, so. and uh, yeah, I think particularly for younger students, I think mm. they'll really, uh, really enjoy that. Yeah, because are they animated as well? Yeah, That's so really yeah, cool. you can see there it's zooming sort of love into it. the uh, into the screen there. Oh yeah, the younger kids will love that. Uh, next one, so this one um, is something that I think teachers and network managers uh, might find useful. So. Mm. Existing customers probably familiar with our lock screen feature where you can disable the keyboard and mouse uh, on the device yeah. and display either our uh, net support school sort of image or schools can customize it with their own graphics. Mm. Um, but we've got a new feature, blank screen. And what this does is it will blank the screen on the local device. So the student at the device will just see the screen and it will all be black. But the teacher or tech can still uh, access the desktop via a remote session. So mm. if the teacher needs to do something and they don't want to see the student do it, or perhaps more with a tech, you know, there's a problem, you need to put in a password or you're going somewhere on the system yeah, and you don't... Yeah, kids watching them. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. You, we, we know some of, some of the kids now, they're, uh, they're pretty handy and we don't... Way too savvy. Yeah, don't, don't want them seeing what you're up to. <laughs> yeah. You can blank their screens, um, do what you need to do and then unblank the screen and they can carry on using the device. So mm -hmm. great new feature there. Yeah, brilliant. Uh, another change, multi-monitor support. Mm. So we've enhanced how this works. So in terms of the thumbnails, if you're connecting to a student who's got multiple monitors on their device, um, what you'll see is um, some numbers under the thumbnail. So you can click on the, uh, the screen number or the display number, shall I say, and that will change and you can flip between that in the thumbnail. Mm. On the remote control view, you'll either be able to view the whole desktop. Yeah. Um, so depending on how many monitors they've got, you might or might not want to do that. Um, or you can toggle between the uh, the screens there. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you can choose to look at monitor Just one. Just making it easier see. to be able to see what's happening on all the different screens then, basically. Absolutely. And this also ties in with the show functionality. So if you want to exhibit a student, you mm -hmm. can actually pick which of their uh, monitors you want to, uh, yeah. to exhibit there as well. Uh, next up, we've got some changes around the uh, testing and yes. assessment. So uh, I'm going to refer to my notes here. Um, <laughs> So we've added a new question type, um, and this is where um, you can uh, select text that students must have to, uh, must highlight uh, yeah. in order to answer the question. So I'm trying to think of an example, maybe um, perhaps a paragraph with a with an incorrect spelt word. So you've put mm -hmm. your your paragraph in there, and the student needs to highlight which yeah, of the nice. words is spelt incorrectly. Uh, Cat, as a, as a former teacher, I'm sure you can think of other examples. Yeah, I other mean, examples. that is an activity where we do a lot, to be honest, is looking for things like errors and stuff. But also, um, if you get in like reading comprehension, you want them to say, find the meaning of a word or find out what happened to the character next, then go in and highlight the key bits in there. Or you could even put kind of like false information in there. They have to highlight what's true, what's false. There's, there's loads you could do with that. I think that'd be a really, really useful feature for teachers. Absolutely. Um, so where are we now? Ah, chat logs. Mm -hmm. So we've obviously got the chat feature um, yeah. in, uh, in Net Support School. So really useful. Um, if you've got a student, maybe they're a bit shy, don't mm -hmm. want to put their hand up and speak in front of the class. They want to kind of communicate a little bit more subtly with the teacher or perhaps in a test scenario where you don't want your students uh, speaking out if they need some help. Um, so this is kind of a feature probably sort of more around safeguarding, but all the uh, chat logs now 
um, or we are logging all the chats um, in the, uh, the tutor. So from a safeguarding point of view, uh, if there are any issues, those chats are being logged so you've got evidence of any conversations between the um, teacher and the, uh, and the mm -hmm. students there. Yeah, really useful. Good to have those backed up for sure. Next up, we've got a multi-select option for the class wizard. So um, this is something where um, you're using multiple sets of devices. So we've got our room mode connection method. Mm -hmm. um, and it doesn't have to necessarily be used for um, sort of connecting to devices in a room. I know some of our customers use it where they've got laptop trolleys uh, that they perhaps book out. Um, and it could be you've got a large class and you need to book out a couple of trolleys. Um, and you could connect to sort of, um, two sets of devices or two rooms at once, but it meant creating an additional room. So you'd kind of have room name one plus room name two. And when you sort of uh, created a new room in that format, that would allow you to connect to um, both rooms or both sets of devices. So we've changed that now. Uh, what you can do is you basically can multi-select rooms or okay. multi-select sets of devices. So it takes a little step out there. The teacher doesn't mm -hmm. need to create a new room. If they're connected to two laptop trolleys or two different rooms, simply control click and that will connect to both sets of devices. So mm -hmm. anything and, that saves time by absolutely out steps it's, is uh, worth doing for sure. It's quite a little change, but mm -hmm. I think it's um, still it's, streamlined. Yeah, it's good it's gonna make things a little mm -hmm. bit easier for teachers there. And now I'm gonna I'm gonna skip now to the to the techie bits. Um, <laughs> so for our uh, network managers or technicians who are uh, who are watching, so we've made some changes um, around the uh, the tech console. So we've got some uh, improvements there. Uh, we've got a new quick search uh, functionality, um, and uh, as I've already uh, mentioned, we've got the uh, the blank screens. If you're using the tech console to carry out some uh, some support work, some assistance to uh, the devices there. That's, uh, that's in the tech console as well as uh, in the tutor console. And uh, it's also possible you can stop uh, our software from running. Now, you okay. may think that that is uh, quite a strange thing to want to do, mm. um, but there are scenarios where um, there are companies that um, you know, provide testing software and um, they don't like anything else running in the background. So if you do need to temporarily yeah. disable our software um, while you're running specific testing soft uh, software on your network, you can disable um, Net Support School from running on your devices, run your test, and then afterwards reboot those devices and our software will kick back in again. So it just makes that process a little bit easier for, mm -hmm. uh, for network managers if, uh, if you need to do, do, uh, do that there. And we've also got some additional group policy uh, options. So if you're a network manager, you probably understand uh, what I mean there. If you're not, probably makes no sense to you, but it's gonna make configuring your network, configuring your devices a little bit easier there. Um, you can control a lot more settings within the software um, mm -hmm. centrally. So hopefully make it a little bit uh, quicker and easier for uh, network managers yeah. configuring or deploying. And that's all kind of going to have a knock-on effect, isn't it? At the end of the day, it's going to be less headaches for staff if the network managers have got things they can access more easily, update more easily, more things they can do themselves. That's yeah. going to benefit everyone, isn't it? Yeah, so we want, want it. So a teacher comes in, they sit down at the, uh, the tutor console and it should be you know, configured perfectly for them. They don't have to yeah. start tweaking, changing any settings there, all ready exactly. to go. And they can, they can concentrate on teaching and not, uh, not spending time configuring and, uh, and tweaking the software there. Yeah, absolutely. So um, do you have any kind of favourite new features from that list? Um, I, I do like the blank screen. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's, uh, you know, from a, a network manager background, I think that's yeah, I uh, re that a really good one. Um, but, but I also like the stickers. I like, I like the animation. I, like the I, think, I think that's too. really cool. <laughs> I think that'd be really cool. Um, but yeah, I also really like the um, the testing assessment updates because I think that having that tool on there is really useful. So more different question formats is always going to be a bit of a winner. So yeah, that's great. Brilliant. Um, yeah, so keep an eye out for more updates, more events, and more episodes of the show. Yep. And also, I've been working on some uh, tech videos, mm -hmm. which should be uh, released in the next uh, few weeks. So keep an eye out for... Uh, for those, I'm going to be covering um, sort of how to use some of the more advanced features and uh, going over some of the um, technical setup of uh, yeah. some of our products as well. Perfect. All right, bye for now. Bye.